Good morning, guys. Today, I went to a place called Button Up Cafe. It's located in Pearl City. I've been there before a long time ago to try their, um, I believe I had their short rib Benedict or something like that. And I liked it. Haven't been back since, but I um, always wanted to try their strawberry uh, cheesecake French toast, but notice they have new items now. Uh, and one of them is the Ube Cheesecake French Toast, which looks amazing. And tell you a backstory um, with the whole Thanksgiving feast and everything and the leftovers, I f don't really feel like actually eating something like this that's um, so heavy. I wanted something light and actually eyed out a place with delicious um, musubis and made to order bentos, but um, they weren't open to the public. Um, I should have read about it before going all the way over there. So I'll try to go next week. Um, now with new COVID rules, you have to actually call in your order. Uh, you can't just come in and choose the pre-made bentos anymore. So I'll do that next week. But for now, Button Up Cafe. Um, it's tasty and everything, but hopefully not too heavy uh, because it's pretty much sugar over sugar, but it looks fabulous and I love ube. So I chose this over the strawberry because ube is one of my favorites. And if you don't know what ube is, it's a purple root, kind of um, like a sweet potato or yam, but totally different. It's not any of those, but that's the closest I can say. And it's got a nice earthy um, sweet flavor to it. And I really enjoy it. And it has this interesting purple color. So we'll dig into this. It's like actually a quarter of a loaf of bread, pretty much hollowed out with um, the ube filling, amazing. That's a lot of bread. And to tell you the truth, I'm not really into French toast at all. I don't like the eggy, weird breading on it, but this one doesn't look like that. It looks pretty much just like, it's got a little bit of coating, but it's not too thick. It doesn't look eggy, so let's give it a try. Wow. This whipped cream on the side has a nice coconut halpia taste too. And it looks like there's custard next to the strawberries. They give you fresh fruit and there's delicious custard mixed with it too. Yep, real good. They also give you a thing of syrup, but this thing is pretty sweet enough that I don't think I need any syrup. The whipped cream is good and it's got the filling of ube. So I think I'm set. I don't need syrup. Dip it into the ube here. It's the ube, a little bit of whipped cream. Mmm. This is so good. The bread is like a brioche or something, really soft and sweet, or like a Portuguese sweet bread. I'm not sure. So really light and fluffy kind of melts in your mouth. The whipped cream has a little bit of drizzle of ube and toasted coconut bits, which I'm not a fan of coconut bits. I love coconut taste, but not the shavings, but it's okay. The taste is so good, I don't even notice it. You get fresh pieces of strawberry here. And of course, you can't just have French toast or pancakes or whatnot. You need um, a side of meat, so I got some bacon. Mm. Super thick cuts of bacon. And most of it's lean, so you know it's premium bacon. Not too fatty, it's got a lot of meat on it, not just fat. Maybe it was meant to be, to come here. for the first place not working out. Because, damn, this is delicious. And I don't actually have a sweet tooth much, but just ube stuff is so delicious to me. I don't know why. Mm. Yeah, this definitely doesn't have a thick, eggy batter or anything like that. Um, so if you're not into that, just like me, definitely give this a try. Like I said, I'm not a French toast fan, but this is totally different. It's nice and fluffy. It's not dunked and soaked in that nasty egg milk mix. 
because you can tell in the middle it's still like fresh fluffy sweet bread and it totally complements the filling and the whipped cream definitely don't need no syrup and then I guess I'll put some custard here just give it a change of pace Hmm. The custard's really good. It gives it um, a nice good contrast because I think the custard is separately made, uh, obviously, and refrigerated, so it has a nice cold, still cold, refreshing taste. Uh, the ube filling and the whipped cream is not too cold, um, but the custard's ice cold, so it gives it that nice con con um, contrast. I didn't think I would actually finish this at all because, like I said, I'm not a big fan of um, French toast, but I just went in with an open mind because of the ube flavor. But it's pretty much done, as you can see. I feel disgusting <laughs> pretty much because of all the sugar. Um, another side note that I forgot, it seems like the whipped cream and the custard taste homemade. It definitely has a different um, taste to it in a good way. You can definitely taste that it's not um, store-bought or anything like that, so that's good. Um, the ube filling or cream has a very thick consistency, which is good. Can never get enough of that and a good ube taste. Um, so we'll go over the pros and cons. Um, pretty much said everything. I love that the portions are generous. This is pretty much, like I said, a quarter of a loaf of bread. That's how thick this piece is. Um, I don't know if it's Portuguese sweet bread, but it tastes kind of like that, or a brioche, a sweet bread. And it doesn't really have much of a coating on it with the egg wash, and that's a plus for me. That's what kind of turns me off with French toast sometimes when people make it that way where it's too thick. I, I don't like that eggy, weird gushiness and how they soak it in there so long where it seeps through. That's a yeah to me. So this is different. When you cut into the bread, it's still fluffy and it just melts in your mouth. Uh, definitely a fresh piece of bread. Really soft. It's delicious. Um, the outside is definitely seared though because you see the um, toasted part. But it, in no way does it affect the inside and the softness of the bread. So I like that and love the filling. I love the homemade whipped cream and custard that also goes with it to give it a different contrast. The cream itself and the ube filling is super sweet. Um, I won't say it's overly sweet, but I definitely wouldn't put the extra syrup they give you on it unless you really like sugar. Uh, I don't think it even needs syrup at all. Definitely not. Um, I love the bacon. I love that it's premium cut bacon. It's definitely not cheap stuff you would even get at the grocery store. It's thick cut. Most of it was lean meat and it wasn't all just fat. So definitely filling. Um, the service, the girls there, super friendly. I walked up to order and probably within like 10 minutes my um, food was done. The cons. I don't have any cons really, but I'll tell you a story though. Initially, while driving back to the west side, um, because like I said in the beginning, I initially wanted to go somewhere else in town, but they weren't taking orders. Um, I called to do a takeout order, thinking that it'll be just quicker. That way, by the time I get there, it'll be ready. And she put me on hold, and I think she forgot about me. Um, I was on hold for like seven minutes and you could hear them talking in the background and just kind of not really talking to customers. So I think she just got overwhelmed at first because you could hear the customers in the background and then just forgot about it. So no biggie though. Um, in person, they're super friendly girls. They're super awesome um, and service was quick and friendly. And parking is also good. Um, there was tons of stalls. Um, you didn't have to fight for parking or go around or anything like that. And it's right off of Cam Highway, so you can see it from the roadway. Um, 
it's next to a sewing shop. I'm not sure if you're familiar, but it's right next to that. And if you go towards the west and you hit the zippies and the shopping center with Long's and Chuck E. Cheese and all that, then you know you've passed it. So you got to turn around. Um, yeah, so all in all, a great experience. I'm very delightfully surprised that this turned out to be very, very delicious. And wow. So if you're craving something awesome, something different, uh, even if you're not a sweet tooth, I'm not a sweet tooth. This really hit the spot. I love ube. And they also have different flavors. Um, if you're not into ube, they have their original strawberry cheesecake uh, French toast. And they also have a new one, a Nutella. The Nutella and the ube are not new. It's always been a special of theirs, but I guess it's just been popular that they just added it to the menu. So now it's not a special. You can get it every day. It was on their menu when you went up to pay. You see the little menu printed out and it's on there already. The older menu did not have it. It was on the chalkboard that they had for a special. So we'll wrap this up. Pretty much great, not many cons at all. Great food, great service. And the price, I believe, for the French toast is $10.95 for any flavor. So ube, strawberry, or Nutella. And if you want a side of meat, so I got the bacon, it's $2.50. Um, you don't have to get bacon. You can get Portuguese sausage, links, and, you know, all the typical breakfast meats, whatever you desire for your meat if you do want one. If you're not too into sweets but you want to try it, I think it's pretty big. So you could probably just buy one and share it with another person. That's fine too. So yeah, definitely check out Button Up Cafe. They also serve lunches, uh, typical local plate lunches, um, and also normal breakfast such as bacon, eggs, rice, Portuguese sausage, all that. They have local mocos. They even have their short rib local moco, Kalua pork local moco, all kind of different stuff. So check them out. Um, if you're not sure and you don't want to drive there and you're, you don't live nearby, go look on Yelp or just Google it to look at their menu and their different items. So until next time, I'll see you again for another food adventure. Hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving and happy holidays, everyone. Take care of each other. Stay safe and peace out.